In this SASTIC review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software SASTIC. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for SASTIC. SASTIC automatically requests public reviews and feedback from your customers so you don't have to. So this is what you should see once you have first entered the software, whether you are signing in for the first time or just logging in again as a regular sign up person. So this software actually helps customers from your businesses or any form of customer content that you need and it helps them actually leave reviews for your business. So you can go ahead and actually create email reviews, forms, kiosk, showcase, links and settings. Loads of different strategies that we're going to go through throughout this review to show you the benefits and the features of using this software. So I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it, describe the software really quickly, and then throughout the review, I'm gonna dive deeper into each feature. So on the left-hand side, we have this navigation bar, and on this section, we can go to the dashboard, which we are on right now, the customers, reviews, emails, SMS, links, widgets, and then your other settings. So you can go ahead and navigate the software as you want on that left-hand side. There's not really much to actually navigate in general. It's just the main sections up here that we're going to focus on, like the customers and the reviews and emails. So on this dashboard section, as you can see, this is a good section that most softwares have because you can go ahead and see everything straight in one section. So we can again see our emails, form, kiosk, showcase links and settings. But below that, we can actually see the ratings of our reviews once they have actually been finished and actually rated. So you have terrible, bad, okay, good, and great. So once you actually have your reviews out there or your reviews for people to actually register, then the data for those reviews would start coming in through here. Below that we have the stats, which is pretty much the same thing, just more data for your reviews. That would be coming in through there as well, like your total average messages sent and messages clicked. And then down here we have your recent reviews, if you want to see anything recent that first came into this software. So again, this is just a dashboard where all of your analytics would be coming through. So to the left of that, we're gonna go ahead and go onto the customer section. And on the customer section, you have your personal email right there. And then you can also request a review if you want to. So this is just where your customers would be coming through if you have any customers to your business with an email or something like that. You can go ahead and actually manage them right here with this customer section. You can search them up here, filter them, rate them, or even sort them out through all of those different filters. And it should show up right here, but we don't have any customers right now, so we don't really need to go through this section right now. Below that, we have the reviews, which is where we're going to go ahead and actually see the reviews that would actually come through. You can add your customer up here, and then to the left of that, you can see your project. And then right here, you can see the reviews that come in, like you're terrible, bad, okay, good, and great. Just like we saw all the way back at the dashboard page. So now on this dashboard page, we want to go ahead and actually see if we can edit all of these different forms of reviews. So again, we've got emails, which we're going to go into first. And to edit it, you just have to click view emails and it should open up this little page here. Now, this is just where you view it. So you can go ahead and view what you've done. Like request, reminder, thanks, thanks, thumbs down, and then desktop or mobile to see the preview. So if you want to go ahead and edit this to your own liking, this button down here in the bottom right is the edit button and you just have to go ahead and click that. So now we are on the edit section of all of the emails or sort of reviews for the software. So we're on the emails one because we clicked on that one, but up here you can see you can go to the general strategy, emails, SMS, form, showcase, domain integrations and API. So if we go to the general, you can see we have the general project settings. To the right of that, we have the strategy where you can trigger a strategy for your reviews. That's a good feature. So you can go ahead and actually set certain limitations on your reviews. So certain customers maybe can't actually leave a review in case someone wants to actually just leave a bad review on purpose for the sake of hating your business. Or if you want certain customers that are maybe more loyal and you wanna actually hear their feedback, you can hear it and set certain conditions and requests and triggers down here in the strategy section. So you can further help your business by using this software, by letting different types of people leave reviews and actually pretty much help your business out. So right here in the request section, we have the trigger and it should say send request after customer signs up. So you can choose that if they're actually signing up or if they're charged and you can change that to your liking. So personally, I'd say after they've signed up, because that maybe makes them more of a loyal customer for your business. Below that, we've got wait for, so you can actually set how many days you want to wait for, give it some sort of strategy so you're not just bombarding people with email reviews or something like that. 
and actually pretty much give your business more of a good outlook. So in under a few minutes, you can pretty much have this all set up for your business and positively affect your business overall. So change the days from whatever you want, let's just say 12, and you can set whether you want it in days, hours, or even weeks. Limit to sending 20 per day, so you can actually change the amount of emails or anything that is sent out, and you can change that to one or two or whatever number you want to pick. And finally, the thank you messages, you can choose to actually send a thanks or even don't send a thanks as well. We're gonna to choose to send a thanks again, which actually helps us make our business look better once we actually send the reviews out. So click save on that once you're happy with it and it should say your changes are successfully saved. And there you go, in under a couple of seconds, it probably took me around 30 seconds without explaining, I've actually now got a certain requests and triggers waiting for my reviews to go out to anyone who signs up. It actually just decreases the time spent on this and actually helps you get reviews from customers overall with saving you time. So you don't have to spend ages on personally typing out emails or anything like that or messages and sending them out yourself. So we're gonna move down onto the conditions now and as you can see, we can actually set customer conditions. So like I said before, in case you want to give your business a certain positive aspect, you don't want random customers who don't like your business anyway to give you negative feedback and negatively affect your business. So rather than again, wasting your time going through deleting certain reviews, you can actually just set conditions which saves you a lot of time and a lot of effort. So you can actually set whether the customer must have an active subscription, which you would set yes, and then the numbers of charges must be at least, so you can change the number of charges that the subscription should have. So let's just say one for now, and then the total charges as well, and then the average charge as well. So you can change these to whatever number you want. So I just went ahead and set them all as one and then click save just like we did before. And then finally, we've got the reminders and the SMS, the number of reminders right here, whether you can actually send reminders from an upgrade and you can actually wait between different days for reminders to be sent. So you don't want to again bombard your people with emails and messages for reminders and you don't want to actually spend time and effort keeping track of your reminders yourself. So you can set a different reminder between different days and again save yourself some time and effort. And then finally with the messages as well, same thing, send messages or even don't send messages. Now all the way back up the top we're going to go on to the email section now and the messages and the form. So pretty much the area where you can actually start customizing your form of reviews. So on the emails, you can see we can actually start customizing a certain template for your emails. So again, as the theme of this software, you want to be saving yourself time, effort and resources for you to purely focus on your customers, satisfaction and business. So you don't want to go ahead and be spending ages typing out hundreds of emails over and over again without a template so you can actually have customer satisfaction. It can all be held right here in your templates that you can actually set to be sent out automatically. So right here you have your subject and your body, whether you want to go ahead and actually just type that out yourself or choose one of the templates that's already set for you. Right below that we have the incentives if you want to actually display review incentives and then you can just again click save once you're happy with your settings. Same with reminder and same with thanks and thanks thumbs down. You can choose to set different templates to save yourself time in this software. It all automatically sends them out like we've set up before and gives your customers a chance to give you feedback without you actually typing anything out yourself. Same with below, you can actually choose the sender of your name, your name and email address, and then who they actually should reply to. Click save on that as well once you are happy with your finished settings and then it should be saved. Now it should be the same with the messages as well, if we click on that. As you can see, it has a template of requests, reminder, thanks, thumbs up and thanks from down. So you can again change the messages or the body of text that actually is sent out in the messages as a certain template that's sent out to each person every time. And the form should be the same, which is pretty much the same. You have your title, body, and then you have your review and native reviews. And then you can also have a QR code and ratings and other stuff like that. So it's all set up for you automatically. And that's what this software pretty much prides itself in. All automatic and it pretty much again saves you time and effort. And there you go, that is it for the Sastic software review. Overall, I think it's a really great software and there is a couple of features that I personally really like about this software. Those features is how much time it actually saves you from going out and asking customers to review your business yourself. It actually saves you a lot of time, helps you get reviews in general and automates the whole process. I think that's really good for a software to do, again, to save yourself some effort 
and actually only get customers that benefit you as well. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Anyone who's looking for a software like this that they can actually automatically send out reviews, this is probably the best for that since it has emails, messages, and other forms of reviews as well. All automatic, so it saves yourself some effort. Would I use this myself? Yes, I would. From the features I listed, this is probably a software I'd use myself if I were to actually need a review automation software. Overall, I think it's a great software. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.